Hi there, I'm Greg Nader with Sonex Industries, and today we're in Bellows Falls, Vermont at our tech center, and we're working on uh, PowerGlide. So as most of you know, Sonex is the uh, uh, premier supplier of PowerGlide components. We have parts for any build level. Uh, today we're working with uh, transmission from one of our racer partners, and this just happens to be a crazy methanol-powered 3,000 horsepower application. It's getting updated with some of the best parts we have, and uh, we'll go through them one by one here. So uh, first off, this is getting converted from a standard 27 spline output shaft to a larger 32 spline output shaft. And the difference you can see here with the 27 spline on the right and 32 over here, uh, significantly larger diameter. Uh, it did require some modifications to the case, um, but we're fitting that in there. Uh, additionally, with our gear set here, it has a ring gear stabilizer. Uh, the stabilizer system uh, bolts on to the carrier and works with these bearing buttons to support the ring gear to prevent it from wobbling around. Um, this is a regular carrier here. And as you can see, the ring gear has a lot of play and slop. It's not really supported by any bushings or bearings. Um, and with the ring gear stabilizer, it's locked in place by these bearing support buttons. It's very important because, uh, you know, many of you probably heard the ring gear actually clunk as you push the car around the pits or something like that. And that indicates how much slop there is here. And as the trans brake applies, that can actually hold this in an uncentered position that can stress the small pinion gears. Uh, additionally, the stabilizer keeps everything running on center so there's less vibration as well. So we got the big output shaft, uh, stabilizer system, and then our smart tech uh, 10 clutch drum here. Of course we have for a long time we've had a patented 10 clutch drum. Uh, the difference with the smart tech which is this one here is the piston is both larger on the outer diameter and smaller on the inner diameter for 35 percent more ply area. Still works with 10 clutches. Does give you the option to run in fewer clutches uh, for less drag in some classes but for this monster, we'll be running all 10 clutches. Um, and that brings us to the input shaft, which is a larger inch and an eighth diameter compared to the standard one inch diameter. Uh, it's got a standard 35 spline, AOD spline on the front, 35 spline at the clutch hub, and then a proprietary uh, spline we have at the rear, which is actually the largest spline that'll fit through a front sun gear. And you can see how snug it is on the sun gear here. So it's the biggest spline that'll fit through there. And then it's a very fine spline so that the cross section is the biggest cross section uh, for, the, for the highest strength shaft that you can get through a stock sun gear. Uh, then to go into a special rear sun gear that is available for the uh, 158 and 165 ratios. So we have the big input shaft system and part of that is the stator tube. Uh, it's a high strength stator tube, presses into the pump, uh, in this case, we have uh, pinned it in place in two locations, so uh, it's nice and securely held in place there. One of the other uh, new things we have for 2017 is our SmartTech Ratio Style Servo. This is a, really a unique item. There's never before been anything like it for the Power Glide, although uh, essentially it works the way all modern servos do, and that is where the release area, the oil that's pushing the servo off, the the piston area that it has to react on is larger than the apply area. What that means is with the difference in areas that the oil will hydraulically push the servo off and you don't require as much on the spring. So uh, consequently we can run a very light spring and this solves the pin bias issues that have plagued this unit since it was designed and used in racing applications um, where it had a, actually it had a smaller release area and in, in, uh, compared to the apply area. Uh, this deals with staging issues, uh, fixes staging issues uh, so it doesn't back up when you're uh, applying the trans brake. Uh, there's less tie up on the shift, less pressure drop on the shifts, less stress on the shaft due to less overlap um, and it has more net apply force than any OE servo due to the lighter spring and it makes the old power glide design work like a modern 727, 4L60, all those other servos with a larger release area. And then finally, um, we have our aluminum pan. 
This is a stamped one piece seamless design for no leaks. It's the lightest pan on the market and it has a uh, special baffle that relocates the filter rearward and under the baffle deeper into the oil. Excellent addition to any power glide. So uh, Sonex has all the power glide parts you need. They're a central part of any uh, build. And uh, new for 2017, we have uh, this great catalog featuring all the parts you see here, plus many, many more. Check this out online, and uh, thanks for showing up today.